This is my second time here. In these 10 years, did a lot of things change here in Phnom Penh? Things to do at night, lots yeah. of places to eat, like I said, lots of busy, vibrant areas. How do you feel in Phnom Penh, in the capital city of Cambodia? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. We are back in the capital city of Cambodia. We are back in Phnom Penh. I'd like to give you some insiders of this city. So in this episode, we're gonna find out how Phnom Penh is looking right now. To get a better picture how Phnom Penh is looking right now, I found some tourists, a couple of business owners, and some teachers as well to find out how the city is looking right now. How long have you been here and how many times have you been here? Uh, this is my second time here, but okay. the last time was 12 years ago. Oh, and wow. I've actually been trying to remember whether it was this built up. How do you like it? compared to 12 years ago. I really remember going to the Killing Fields yeah. and doing all of that. Um, but I don't remember the city and I don't remember if this is actually, yeah. This is quite new. It was, this is it quite feels, new. Yeah. yeah, it feels busy. I don't remember mm -hmm. it feeling this hectic. I remember the city being quite um, dirty in a way, not to be rude, yeah. but how do you like it now? Is it yeah. better now, you think? There's definitely, there's parts where um, it's really still needs a lot of work. Yeah. I've been out to some of the villages and stuff, right. and compared to that, it's a different world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, a, in a good way, or? Um, I think so, but it's just really hard to grasp seeing the contrast of like what's going on here to what's going on out in the villages, yeah, you know? right, yeah. and the living situation and that sort mm. of thing. So. What else do you have plans here in Phnom Penh and uh, the surrounding? Um, I'm just finishing up my two weeks in oh. Cambodia actually, yeah. I go home tomorrow. Oh, so. Back to Australia? Yeah, back ah, to Australia. Okay. Yeah. So what was the best thing? What happened on your trip? Like, um, well, I was actually here for a build with Habitat for Humanity, oh. so um, that was interesting. So, what, what do you do then exactly? Like, what? So you um, build homes for people, and that's where I was out in the villages. Mm. If I uh, participate as well, yeah. what can I do? Um, a lot of shoveling, mixing concrete yeah. and moving and wow. yeah, so we yeah built the foundations of the house, you yeah. do some brickwork and okay. all of it. It's well, really good for you, like good yeah. on you, I mean, like, yeah, yeah that's not really nice, yeah. yeah. So instead of going on a holiday, spending some time on the beach. You... Yeah, <laughs> I did do that too. Yeah. I went down to Korong for the last oh, yeah? three days. Ah. To How was the weather? Like because I skipped Korong because I thought it was... It was, I asked one of the Cambodian guys here, I was like, is it still worth going? And he said yes, yeah. and I went and it was great. Ah, yeah. okay. I'm glad for you. I'm, yeah. I have to come back to Cambodia to do, go to Karong and do. all that. It was beautiful, yeah. even, even in the rain, it was ah. great. Other than, um, you know, doing grateful work, like what's mm -hmm. the best thing, let's say, what's the best thing about Cambodia? Oh, the people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're all so nice. <laughs> yeah. they're so beautiful. Ah. Yeah, okay. really welcoming, really helpful. Yeah, look out for you, they yeah. do. Yeah, they Good. truly do. Yeah. Hey, do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Um, get out there, meet people, yeah. see it. Yeah, we're all part of the same family, you know? I'm living here for 25 years oh, wow. and I'm teaching basic English. Business is a bit down now after COVID, of course. But when you ask me about business, about foreigners, most of the foreigners lose business here if they do their own business. Okay. There were so many who opened girly bars, they all lost their money. Ah. Some tried to open the restaurant. A few are successful, like yeah. Larry's on 110, he yeah. is successful. But most of the guys who make their own business here are not successful, but a few, yes. The streets are new, clean. I, I'm uh, really surprised uh, about how uh, good it is going in Phnom Penh. This is my opinion only. Do you think this is correct? Do you see the same thing here? or It's quite clean here uh, since they put rubbish bins everywhere. Ah, the bins, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. they put real rubbish bins everywhere. Yeah. And that was about you know, maybe two years ago, three years ago. Ah, and yeah, ever yeah. since it's quite clean here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing. People use it. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Well, Phnom Penh is still a nice city. When you compare Phnom Penh to all the other uh, capital cities around here in Southeast Asia, it's the best to live in. Because you live here in the city center, you just take the ferry over there and you are in the fields. So you escape uh, within 30 minutes from town. Do you live in Phnom Penh? Yes, I live in Phnom Penh. Yeah. For how long already? 10 years. So, in these 10 years, did a lot of things change here in Phnom Penh? It's the same before. Yeah. Just before, uh, the business is not growth enough. Like uh, many years ago, that uh, 
the Chinese people come in the Phnom Penh, yeah. so the business in the Phnom Penh is very go very high. Ah. Yes, but uh, after uh, they walk out, they yeah. come out from the Cambodia, so the business in the Cambodia slow down, become the first uh, be that before the Chinese people come in. A lot of people from the Chinese, uh, they are uh, play game and online game that yeah. break the policy. Yes, the police in the Cambodia. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying there's now a lot less Chinese businessmen here? Yes, still ah. have, but a, a little bit. And a, a small micro business, not a commercial business. We all really uh, welcome for yeah. all uh, Chinese people that come here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Who, who want to come here. Yeah. Yes. But you have to follow the rules, you're saying? Yes, yeah, yes, ah. yes. Is it for them easy, you think, to have business here? Yes, easy. Yeah. Yes, easy. Because. Uh, now the the Cambodia is the country that need developing, yeah, yeah. need developing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. need growing. So yeah. they all can develop a business or create a new business. Yes, uh, for the people in Cambodia. Uh, how about you? Do you have a business? Oh yes, I have a little bit business, okay. small business. What, what is it? Perfume. Huh? Perfume. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I uh, put the perfume, some perfume in the store. Yeah. Okay. Uh, small market and small mart, mini mart. Ah. Yeah, for consignment with the uh, this mart. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And how is business now in the last ten years? Is it better than ten years ago? Yes, but better than yeah. yeah, better than just a little bit grow, ah. not uh, higher grow. How long have you been here? Uh, nine months now. Going okay. on, going on nine months. Yeah. Is this your first time or? Uh, second time. Okay. Have you been here before COVID? Yeah, just before COVID. I was on holiday from Chinese New Year. I came from China. I was there 14 years before this. Oh, wow. Yeah. How come you moved here? Uh, just time for a change. Yeah. Yeah, things changed. Yeah. So. And um, how do you like it so far in Cambodia? How's, how's pretty good. I like yeah? it. It's, except for the heat. April and May is brutal, <laughs> but it's finally cooling down a bit now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, only, this is cooling down, is yeah, it? Yeah, oh. 34 is cooling down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> teaching at the international school right oh, there, teaching uh, primary grade five and six ah, English. Okay. Do you have any friends here who owns a business? Uh, let's say foreign friends or local friends. Owns a business? No, yeah. I don't. Ah. Yeah, I'm new here. I'm pretty new. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. But looking around, uh, compared to the, the last visit in Phnom Penh and now, how is Phnom Penh looking at the moment? Okay, uh, it's about the same. Like I said, I saw it pre-COVID. Yeah. It was just when it was starting, and it's 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 about the same. Yeah. Things are back to normal. You know, everything's you know. Yeah. Besides, we're still wearing masks in the school. That's the only oh, difference. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Our yeah. school, anyways, not all of them. What would you say the best thing about Phnom Penh is? Okay, one thing about big city life, the convenience for sure. Yeah. Uh, not lots of life, night life, things to do at night, lots yeah. of places to eat. Like I said, lots of busy, vibrant areas. Yeah. Uh, if you're the outdoorsy type. Uh, there's not a lot of green spaces. Be careful. So, like riding a bicycle around this city, and that can be a little bit dangerous. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so ah. um, there's other cities if you prefer a more slowed lifestyle. Like uh, Kampot, you mean? Kampot, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, and out, more outdoor and yeah. that sort of thing. Okay. But as this being the capital, like there's can make more money here and you yeah. know how every every country city like country yeah. works the same way yeah, pretty yeah, well yeah. right 14 years in china yeah. now in cambodia how do you yeah. like it compared to china yeah and i was six years before that in taiwan too oh, so. Right. so how how uh, each yeah. one has their disadvantages and advantages yeah. right like everywhere you can never have everything right ah uh, yeah fair enough fair enough uh Thai, taiwan like again with the vi vibrant nightlife and yeah. night food night markets have you ever been to taiwan no uh, only, only briefly like oh, okay yeah. yeah they have amazing food night markets and very vibrant in that china um the jobs are really good there teaching yeah really, oh yeah. yeah they treated okay. you very well well paying for the yeah. most part uh here back again to it's more the lifestyle here in the yeah. city in, in its own in the country right it's a very easy going country here yeah the people yeah. are very nice and easy going yeah would you agree with that it's, i 100 yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, i cool, feel it yeah. i yeah. Um, the thing is and i'm a little bit upset about people who are commenting from especially from thailand i i, I love thailand i'm a yeah. big thailand lover sure. I, i'm based there but i've seen a lot of negative comments about cambodia and i only experience oh, good really? things here oh, oh yeah okay. oh yeah 
only good things here and uh, I'm super happy, super grateful for yeah, being here. And that's what I like about here. It's more, the people are more easy going and relaxed here than Thailand, yeah. that's for sure. Like, okay, yeah. I, yeah. I'm not too sure. I don't want to say anything also negative about Thailand at yeah, all. I'm but not it's really just saying a, negative. No. I'm just saying they're a little bit more. Because yeah. you got to love the food there. And you, like you said, there's so much to do there. The it's, beaches. It's I great. think yeah. it's, uh, if not the best, is one of the best countries in Southeast sure. Asia. For me anyway, personal yeah. uh, opinion. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Uh, definitely you got to come see Angkor Wat. It's stunning. It's amazing. Yeah. You see pictures and it's one of the places that it's actually the pictures don't do it justice. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, meet the hospitality of the Cambodian people. Yeah. It's great. And uh, it's it's you know Southeast Asia it's it's here it's you can get to so many great places here they're all close you know everything's within an hour flight or so so yeah, yeah. definitely put it on your uh, bucket list okay seventh Thank you. wonder of the world right yeah yeah well Thank we've been Wat. to Angkor Wat I yeah. show you a link right there in the, the yeah you can, in the banner you can click on that and okay. there's a beautiful have you been there yet yeah we it's made a kind of a like, documentary vlog style oh nice uh, it's yeah. Just, it's, uh, yeah it's beautiful it is really beautiful. quite stunning. Uh, I forgot your name, sorry. Uh, James. James, thank That's you okay. so much for your time. Yeah, I, I really you Chai, my name is Chai. <laughs> thank you, James. Hey, take care. Take care. Are you actually here on holiday? No, nah, we're backpacking, so oh, yeah. kind of holiday. Oh, okay. For how long? Uh, six months. How long have you been in Phnom Penh? Uh, just the two days. Yeah. Got two more to go. And yeah. before? Uh, Campot. So we've done like the islands. How would the island? We missed the islands. It was a uh, bit of a bad weather, so. Yeah. I, yeah, saying the islands weren't great because of the weather. Yeah, so yeah. It was a bit because they're, they're magnificent, I think. Yeah, That's they're so good, but yeah, you just got to be lucky. How do you feel in Phnom Penh, in the capital city of Cambodia? Yeah, it's good. I'm, so far, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And then the, um, the killing fields and the jail today, so it was a good experience. But yeah. I mean, yeah, that's tough. Like, insane, I've been uh, without the camera, I've been as well, and uh, yeah, it's tough a tough one, isn't it's it? An like, eye opener. What would you say the best thing about Phnom Penh is? So far, I like, I like the energy. It's yeah. nice. It's kind of like modern, but it's still got a bit of yeah. culture, which is nice. But yeah, yeah. it's nice seeing all this is pretty cool. Yeah. The river is pretty cool. But yeah, it's, it's good, man. I guess it's your first time, right? Yeah, first did time. You, to did it match your expectations? Uh, to be honest, no. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but yeah, yeah so far it's, it's been better than I thought. Yeah, yeah same here, man. I'm, yeah, a lot of people have been warning it. me and all that, and yeah. it's, it feels quite safe and yeah, nothing. Like it. It. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. What's the best thing so far you experienced? Probably Angkor Wat, Angkor Wat sunrise yeah. is pretty good, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm always trying to learn stuff from other people. Is there anything that we should be aware of or maybe something that you wish you would have known? Not to be honest, mate, ah. just go in with an open book, yeah. find out for yourself, yeah. just hope it all goes well. Yeah. Are, you, are you just traveling until your money ran out? Or? Nah, so for me, I was doing six months, then going to Australia to work. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. My mate is pretty much going until his money runs out, six oh, okay. months, but yeah. yeah. What's this? What channel is this? Just uh, Chai Travel. Pardon? Chai Travel. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, thank you so much for no talking worries. to us What's anyway. Your name? Uh, my name is Chai. Chai, nice to Chai from the Netherlands. Well, I've got one more question, really. What, do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Travel, your money will return, your time won't. This channel is based in Thailand, but we're showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia, and now we are in Cambodia. There's still quite a few episodes coming up here in Cambodia before we go back to Thailand again. Do a quick stop there and then. I think we're gonna give KL a visit after that. Hey champs, I really appreciate all your likes, your comments, and sharing this video as well helps this channel. Um, thank you so much for watching anyway, till the very end. I would like to say from the capital city of Cambodia, bye for now, and stay champ.